Obviously, the major thing on our mind then, nine days after the earthquake, and to a certain extent even now, is relief. Relief is so essential, taking care of the immediate basic needs of the people. So we're talking about clean water. We're talking about a roof over their heads. We're talking about a meal. We're talking about surgery, all right? We're talking about uh, the basic essential needs to survive. That's relief. And Catholic Relief Services was doing that tremendously. It's important that there's this continued understanding that emergencies of this scale and complexity take much more time, energy, and effort than just the initial few months or few weeks. The next stage is to get people into safer shelter, for example, into transitional shelters. The concept of the transitional shelter is, like as the name implies, it's not the end goal. It's a transition from a very poor shelter situation, be it a tent or a tarp, but a situation where they're moving to a better structure that can better resist the elements. While the immediate need and the most pressing and perhaps the most challenging need is shelter um, today in Haiti, uh, we're also working in a number of other areas. So for example, we're providing food assistance, we're providing water and basic sanitation and hygiene assistance. We're working in the camps uh, as well as on the northern border to provide protection uh, support, so trying to help the community to protect its most vulnerable, particularly children um, as well as women and the elderly. So we're working in a number of other areas to provide basic support to meet basic needs so that the Haitians most affected by the earthquake can be assured that their basic needs are being met so they can focus on the future and focus on how to rebuild their lives. We will be there with the absolute highest level of skill and competence we can bring, collaborating with our Haitian partners in the church and elsewhere to offer a better tomorrow for many millions of Haitians.